everyone. My name is Katie and I'm going to be reviewing Gather Rounds, Letters and Numbers curriculum that they just came out with. I was really excited about this curriculum when it came out. Um, we have been using a different curriculum as well. Um, so when they, when I found out that they were coming out with this, I was like, oh no, I'm going to want that too. You know, like there's so many great curriculums out there, but this really drew my interest. The, the watercolors and just the way that it's, it's meant to be used. It's just really highly appealing to me. So um, lesson 17, which we learned about today, talked about American Robins. And we've also been using Gather Round's North American Birds Unit Study. So we have already learned about the American Robin as a family. So this just like further, you know, reinforced some of the things we've already learned about that bird. And we've loved it. We really, we really love this. I'm so excited about this, guys. Like this curriculum is phenomenal because it really keeps it short, simple, and sweet, which makes sense because our children at this age, which my daughter's four years old and she's using this curriculum, she does not have a super long attention span, right? So keeping the lesson short, like look, like this, okay? And then this is Bible right here. These are questions based off of this reading here that you can ask your children verbally. They can give oral narrations if you wanted to. Make it your own. I mean, I know that's kind of like young. They're kind of young for that kind of a thing, but it's not super long for them to do, and that's my point. So it's like a page in, that you would read. So yeah, this is, let's say, day 17, and then this is day 18. Okay, so four days a week. You're learning about two different animals, okay? So we're learning about the robin for the first two days, and then we will be learning, let's see, possibly about the beaver, if I'm looking at this correctly, which I don't think I am. Hold on. No, the porcupine, sorry, the porcupine. Right there. So my daughter really loves to learn about the animals here, and that's what really drew me in, guys, to this. I was already, again, I was using Simply K, from master books and again we still use that curriculum because it's been really phenomenal my daughter loves that curriculum but this has been like so much fun because of the animals so we use both i give her breaks in between and it has been phenomenal she asks for both of them she gets really excited about her schoolwork she loves to be able to learn about the sounds and the letters so i'm going to read actually a little bit from this i hope that's okay um, about the American Robins, you kind of get an idea what a lesson's like. It says, meet Ruby Robin. Can you hear what sound her name begins with? And it says in parentheses, point to the title and sound the name out with your child, emphasizing that er sound. This is an R. It always makes the same sound. Ruby Robin loves to go hunting for worms first thing in the morning, but worms aren't the only thing she eats. And it keeps going from there. So again, it's really, really incredible. What my daughter, you know, heard the most from, from this lesson is that they will eat caterpillars. And she was like, oh, no, they eat caterpillars, but they turn into pretty butterflies, you know? So just anything like that, it just makes an impression, you know? And we will actually watch some videos on the bird we're learning about, and that helps retain the information too. Um, I mean, you can, you can really get creative with this. If this is the only curriculum you're using, which is great, okay? Just I would suggest possibly just doing like a sound chant and alphabet practice each day. So do sing the alphabet song and then do a, a sound chant. Like in Simply K, they use um, a sound chant. So A, A, Apple, B, B, Bike, C, C, Cat. You know, that kind of a thing. And do it through the whole alphabet each and every day. Have it be like visual for them. So actually print out like a chart or something that will allow you to do that. And I think this would be great. You know, you can literally do projects just like you would do in a, in a, you know, a main unit study, like one of the main ones from Gather Round, North American Birds unit study, okay? Um, I mean, you can really do it the same type of thing there and it's beautiful and it could be specifically for them. My other students, they love the lessons here too that I read with letters and numbers like, ooh, I wanna learn about that. Like, that looks look, look so much fun. I wanna learn about that animal. Um, my girls especially love animals and learning about them. I think it'd be really interesting to pair up 
something like this with like Burgess Animal Book for children. We pair up the Burgess Bird Book for children by Thornton Burgess um, with the American North American Birds Unit and that's gone very well. Um, so you could probably do something similar with, with this one and it'd be a lot of fun. Um, just to add in some type of literature, if you will. At this age, they're still gonna be mainly playing anyway and they learn through play. So let them learn through play. Play letter bingo, like you can find free printable letter bingos and teach them the sound. Like when you say, okay, you have to find the letter A, 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 like apple, you know, they have to find that and they, if they have it, they have to say the, the sound in the letter's name. Like for example, my daughter loves that. It's great. So you can encourage your child to stay focused on a lesson by letting them earn rewards, like, like a sticker. Okay. Like who at this age, they love stickers, right? Or you can encourage with your whole, ch all your children. Okay. You do well in, in this particular subject or like if they have a weakness in a particular area, um, or all day, like you do well with your schooling today and you're going to earn a ticket that you can put towards earning a prize from a prize box that you you let them pick out for like once a week, you know, type of a thing, if they've done well. I do that kind of reward system with my family and it goes very well. It's very encouraging to them. It really works. Um, if your children ever have some issues behaviorally, you know, something I learned in school when I went to Liberty University and got my master's degree in marriage and family therapy, um, is the importance of one-on-one -on -one child play. So undirected play time with your child. So being able to do something that they enjoy without you leading in, in trying to like script it or anything, you know, let them lead, you know, play with them. It gives them such meaning and excitement and makes them feel valuable to you because you're, you're spending your time with them. You're giving so much messages by how much time you spend with your children and it impacts their worth, their self-worth and self-esteem, you know? So if you impact, if you use that kind of a philosophy along with a reward system and you are just providing a love for learning kind of environment, like you got it made for your children. And especially if you're incorporating, you know, God's word in your day, like if you're a Christian family, for example, I, I just, I mean, props to you. Like I give you guys all the encouragement and love for that. That's beautiful. Um, keep it simple. Less is more. I really truly have come to learn that less is more. And so, yeah, this is enough. Some people might say, oh, is this enough? Yeah, it is. If you don't have children um, above burrows and holes, um, I'm sorry, ready to read program, which is like their kindergarten-ish curriculum, you can even use it for first grade. Um, so if you have a child in letters and numbers or the ready to read program, then, um, but no other child that's older, I'd say you don't even need to get into the main units yet. You can just focus on this. That way you don't have to do two lessons a day, right? Um, until they're old enough. And it's a great way to kind of get your foot in the door. Like I wish that I had started with a curriculum like this, guys. Like how many issues would I have just resolved by doing that, you know? Anyway, um, yeah, so this, this curriculum has been really great. My daughter has absolutely loved learning about Freddy the Fox, Cody the Coyote, Ruby Robin, Sonya the Squirrel, etc. I mean, this is so, so cute, so great. I follow up videos. You can have your child do different art projects if you want. Again, look at some of the free stuff you can find online. Google it, print it out like a mask. Like I did this whole Ricky the Raccoon mask for my daughter. And it came out so cute and she loves to wear it. Like do stuff like that. Like it's fun. It makes it more engaging and more memorable, which is key, <laughs> right? All right. So yeah, I highly recommend this program. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Feel free to reach Rebecca Spooner on her website or in the Facebook community. There's a lot of people there on the Facebook community page that can help you. There's apps for the main curriculum. There might even be... Um, a section for the letters and numbers and the ready to read program. I have not checked that out myself yet, but I'm going to. So, because I'm reminding myself right now to do that. That would be really cute to be able to add in some helpful hints that other families have used incorporated when using this program, right? It makes sense. 
Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I greatly appreciate your time. Have a blessed day, and good luck with your homeschooling.